These verses are witnesses, just like a, a person in the courtroom that's a witness. Mm -hmm. Verses that come together in the Bible are called, they are witnesses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Witness with that, this verse. That's right. And that's how you, you, you learn how to establish truth mm -hmm. and, and walk in uh, principle in your life. Let's look at uh, Colossians. And I, and I want you to go to chapter 2. I, I want to show you some, some about the law that's in the text. Go ahead. But you need to rightfully divide the word of God so you get able to explain it. But that's why you go to other verses to help you to explain it, brother. Amen. Amen. I say Colossians. Let me get mm -hmm. to chapter 2. We get to say amen. Amen. And this is concerning the law. Chapter 2. Thank you. And I want you to hold your hand in your feet. I'm going to show you some. And they go together. I can't remember seeing these verses together, but they go together. Colossians 2. Mm -hmm. Look at verse uh, 14 and 15. And first, I want to read 15 because I want to show you about Satan and, and his demons. Look at 15, Colossians 2 and 15. Mm -hmm. When you get to say amen. 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 This verse says, And having small principality and high, demons, demons in high places. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you, you can find other verses. Now that you got them followers, they can find a thousand verses. <laughs> but, and having small principality and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphant, openly in it. Oh. And you have to ask yourself, well, how did Jesus do that? How, how did he, how did he spoil principalities and, and powers, uh -huh. and, and how did he make a show of them openly? Uh -huh. Would you believe that God did this by nailing His own law to the cross? Yes, sir. Now, listen, I'm trying to yes, tell you. Yes, sir. I'm trying to tell you yeah. that yeah. the way, the way Jesus, that the Bible says in Genesis, proves the head of the serpent. Right? Uh -huh. I'm telling you the way He did that. Was taking the law out, out, out of his, his, his hand. Now, the way he did that was taking the law out, out, of, out of our way. But at the same time, he was taking the law, the law out of our way. All right. He was taking the power of death from the devil. The Bible says he moved to the devil and the power of death. That's right. You got to go for You got to write that right down. Right 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 in Hebrews chapter 2, the Bible says that the devil had the power of death. Yes, Lord. I'll make the case today. That the way the, the way the devil had the power of death, because he had the law in his hand. Oh! You say, how can I say that? Because yes. Satan was up there with God. The law, right. Satan knew the law. He knew the law. He knew that the law would, 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 would cause people what? To, to be guilty of the sin. Yes, the right. Bible says. Right, the Bible says right. the, the, the law gives the love uh, uh, the knowledge the of sin. That's right. That's and right. under the law, we are guilty. Yeah, right. By the grace of sin is dead. Yeah. I'm, I'm making the case today. I'm telling you, verse 15, the way Jesus did this, the way he spoke, principality, and them are demons. Them are, them are demons that are in high places. How did he do that? Because he nailed the law to the cross. This is what he did. He said, you know what? These demons, this devil that has been up here with me, they're using my very word to kill my people. Right. Okay, let me right. show you. I'm going to show you what, what the devil did. The devil said, I'm going to use God's very own opportunity. The Bible says the devil mimics God. Mm. And then the Bible says the God of this world. I'm telling you the truth. The Bible says he's the God of this world. Right. Okay, you say, well, how can he get away with it? Well, the way he does it, he's, he's crafty. Mm. And the Bible says he's a father of lies. He's a trickster. What is yeah. it? Well, how do we do it? How do we accomplish these things? Literally, he accomplished these things under the law. Under mm -hmm. the law. You say, make your case, make your case. Okay, let me make my case. Mm -hmm. Look, Great. he uses the law of God, and I'm going to show you how he do it. I'm going to show you, then I'm going to come back to this. The way he do it is in 2 Corinthians 3. Let's go there. This is how Satan uses the word of God to kill uh, the people of God. Go to 2 Corinthians 3. We get to say amen. Second. What if it was already written already. what the law represents and that's all you had to do was read? Uh -huh. Satan knows the Bible. He knows the book. He knows the word. He knows the word. That's why Mike and James 
say, we, we can't challenge you in this. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord rebuked you. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. He was all against you. I'm going to show you how Satan used the very word of God to keep people all their lifetime in bondage. Yeah, it's burned. That's right. Ain't just Hebrews 2 and 14. Amen. Amen. God, dog. You know what? I got to read this verse because I don't want you to get confused. <laughs> keep your hands in 2 Corinthians and go to Hebrews. Keep, keep your hands in 2 yeah. Corinthians chapter 3 and go to Hebrews so I can show you. I'm just not saying this. He keep people all their lifetime in one. How do he do that? Yeah. He do that through the law. Through the law. Let me show you. Hold your hands in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and, and get to the book of Hebrews chapter 2. And let's look at verse 14. I'm showing you that Satan is crafty. You say, how, how can you, how can you establish this true will? The Bible said when he challenged Jesus, he challenged Jesus in the, uh, in the wilderness with the word. That's yes, right. he did. He That's did. Right. Amen. How did he That's challenge? Right. How did he challenge yes. Adam and Eve? He challenged Adam and Eve with the word. The word. Did Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. Why would right. he challenge? Right. Why would he challenge people in the Son of God with the word? What else could you use that's more powerful than the word of God? Nothing. Nothing. I'm trying to tell you, you, you say he, he, he literally in the Bible challenges people with the very word of God. Very How do he do that? Well, yeah. he used it in a trickery sense. In, trickery sense. in other words, he adds. <laughs> you <laughs> add something that the word can say. Yes, I'm will. trying to tell yes, you that the devil uses the word of God to deceive the church. Sir. Yes, he does. Sir. If he used the word of God on the yeah. Son of God, you don't think he going to use the word of God on us? Jesus yeah. kept saying, it is written. Satan said, it is written. <laughs> he mimicked Jesus. That's right. Now, I'm telling you, you look at Hebrews 2 and 14. How do we keep people all in light to us of the body? Okay, let me read 2 and 14 of Hebrews. For as much then, as the children are partaking of flesh and blood, he also, also himself likewise took part of the same. That who they talking about Jesus? Mm -hmm. Jesus put on flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. He uh, took part of the same that through death mm -hmm. he might he destroy, destroy him, him that had the power. Uh -huh. Now you gotta tell me how did Satan uh, uh, receive the power of death? Mm -hmm. Who gave it to him? He had the power of death. That is the devil. Mm -hmm. Okay, and delivered them. Mm -hmm. Who through fear of death uh -huh. were all their lifetime to but. Now you know this, uh -huh. how, how did Satan come to it? Uh -huh. through, through God's word. Uh -huh. I will show you, I will show you the law. Satan had the law in his hand and he used it as a billy club. That's right. Like <laughs> preachers do. Beat people up in the pool pit. Uh -huh. That's Satan. That's Satan. Satan beat a person so bad in the pool pit that the boy ain't got, he, he can't even leave. He right. can't make it no more. That's right. He lived, he lived there worse than when he came in. Amen. Jesus came with the love. Hallelujah. Uh, only people Jesus would be know is the priest. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> because he knew they was, they was hurting the people. Now, you say, now let's go to the very chapter that Satan uses. I know he uses it. Go, go to chapter, 7 Corinthians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. What if I read that the letter kills? Yeah. The letter is the, the, the law. The law. And Satan, the Bible says, has the power of death. Where did he get it from? He got it from the letter. The wages of sin is yeah. death. Yeah. Amen. You say you want some more proof? Okay, I want you to look on your phone today. The Bible says he's the accuser of the brethren. Okay, Amen. what are you accusing of? Yeah. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> I guarantee you, he don't accuse him the devil of breaking the law. The Bible says Satan is the accuser of the brother. What is he accusing of us? Breaking God's law. In other words, when we sin against God, Satan was accusing them. I'm telling you, but you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I'm taking that law out of your hand. Yes, it is. And I'm going it to the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now let's look and see how the letter kills. Go, go to chapter 3 of 2 Corinthians. And I've read this many times, but I want to show you. Who behind this evil is the devil? Go to 3 and go to verse 6. First of all, Paul said that he don't, he's not a minister of the old covenant, but he's a minister of the new. Uh, Look at verse 6. That's right. That's Who right. also has made us able Amen. ministers of the new yes. testament, not of the letter. Yes. Ah. Of, the of the spirit. For the little kid. Uh -huh. And for the spirit giving life. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll make another, uh, another example right here because the very man that wrote this was persecuting the church by the law. By the law. Paul himself had letters to go all over the country from the high priest to persecute the church. Why were they persecuting them? Because they would not follow the law. Paul uh -huh. uh, they, they said that Jesus, Paul don't steal them. Running with the law. That's right. And because they, they they thought that they were right. They said, no, 
people are breaking Moses' law. That's right. That's Read the Bible. Right. Read politics and, 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 and find out why they were persecuting uh, the, the, the apostles. Mm -hmm. They was persecuting Peter and James, and, and they, you know why they stoned Stephen? Mm -hmm. They stoned Stephen is, is, is in the Bible, is a count. The reason why they stoned Stephen is because he was breaking God's law, mm -hmm. which was not true. Not true. That wasn't true. They, they, talk, they said, you, you, you are coming against the law of Moses, Stephen. And you know what? They killed him right there. And Paul was standing there. That's right. That's you say that, that caused Stephen his life uh -huh. because they believed he was breaking Moses' law. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. I'm showing you that, that was all Satan's attack. Mm -hmm. Stephen was representing Christ. Yes, Stephen. But the, the, uh, the, the, the priests, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, they accused him of breaking Moses' law, so they stole him. Amen. Amen. They killed him. And I'm telling you, Paul was persecuting the church because they believe. Mm -hmm. And remember, what, what do you believe take place in? In your thoughts. In your <laughs> so you got people today, they so into law, mm -hmm. they got in their country. You know what they do? It? They persecute the body of Christ. That's right. They do it. Amen. They, they, can do it they might be doing it unintentionally, mm -hmm. they might be doing it in ignorance, uh -huh. but they still do it. Still doing it. And I'm Amen. telling you, who's Amen. behind it? That that, 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 that stuff, the, the devil. devil. The devil was behind Paul persecuting the church. The devil was behind them stoning Stephen. Mm -hmm. And the devil will be, is be behind us, but we will stay ignorant. Yeah. And I'm learning, but never come to yeah. understand mm. the truth. Right. I'm yeah, telling you, sound. all your life, oh. you'll be subject to bondage in the fear of death. But Jesus said, I didn't keep the spirit of God, the spirit of God, but power, love, and a soul. Oh, my. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, Jesus. 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 Look, look, the Bible say that Paul was a minister of the New Testament. He said, not of the letter, because the letter came. Yeah. The Spirit gave it life. Give it life. But if the ministration of death written on engraving, this is the law. They called, Paul called the law the ministration of death. Now, I didn't say that. Paul said that. Go ahead, John. Now, who had the power of death? The devil. Yeah. So Paul was trying to, once he got, once he came on off the road of the masses and he got filled with the Spirit, uh, he began to try to teach the people the difference between the old covenant and the new. That's right. What that's happened right. to him? They beat him everywhere he went. Hallelujah! <laughs> they never were dead! Everywhere. They beat him 40 times, 3 right. times, 40 stripes of four! Right. Yeah, they beat him. They, they, they beat that man until he was sensitive. They, they right. became blind. That's right. Right. Boy, you get to teach this stuff, you're going to get it. I mean, they're going to come yes, at you. Sir. I'm telling you, they're going to yes, come sir. at you with what? The law! Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The devil, he, he, all, Hallelujah. all this time, Hallelujah. Right, he uses that law. That law. He uses that law. Yeah. And he right. uses it as, as, as a master scribe. He, he weighs more than the Pharisees and scribe. Mm -hmm. He's been to heaven. Mm. Right. He's seen God. He's been there. And so you know, he know that law. And he can twist it in a way, keep you confused all your days. All your days. And I'm telling you, Satan not has made it a part of our salvation. Yes, sir. So I don't care what Jesus down for y'all says. Y'all still better keep that law. Uh -huh. you're not going to heaven. Right. That's what they got him. And I'm trying to tell you that he, this, this law is the middle space of death. Engraving on stone. Yeah. It was glorious so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of the countenance. Which glory was to be done God away. Away. That's why he it up. That's right. He said not, how shall not the middle space of the spirit, it's talking about when we get saved and the Holy Spirit come live inside of us, mm -hmm. be rather glorious. It's saying when the Holy Spirit come uh, uh, live inside of us, we don't need to be uh, be tutored by our law. That's Regulations. Right. Right. The tutor, uh, the law was for like uh, elementary kids. Uh -huh. But once you get Say and, and then the spirit began to lead you. You you, you, need, you have no need for the law to be the, the, the law to be your teacher no more. It's the spirit that teaches. Yes, it's the spirit Lord. That, that, that leads us. It's the spirit that prays for us. Yes, it's Lord. not the law no more. In other words, the sun has came. The fullness of time has come. And we have to get in that in, in Galatians. Yes. But look, in verse 9. Ah, ah. But uh 
But the real spirit will come to the light. Did he, did, did, you know, a lot of times when people, they, uh, they become condemned in their country. Uh -huh. That's also from the devil. Where, where do you get that from, the law? The law. What if the law wasn't just the middle spectrum of death? What if it was the middle spectrum of condemnation? Man, that's some heavy stuff, man. That's, it. that's some yeah. heavy stuff that you, a person in, in, is living in their country. Yes, sir. Because if it get you into confessing them sins and then thinking uh, you won't have power to, to not sin no more, or, or just power to overcome, uh -huh. but not Jesus to have overcame already. Yes, sir. He'll take you back in time. All right. All right. So if you fail again doing that same sin, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Condemnation. Condemnation. Say so got to and say, look, look, you pray, you fast, you ask God, look, you're still doing it. Uh -huh. So what can you then he, he, you know he's saying, well, he's right. That's what you're gonna say. Well, he tell the truth. Uh -huh. And then what's gonna say in condemnation. Condemnation. You he put yourself stop. under the devil's he hand. Stop. The Bible yeah. say, the yeah. Bible say Job put himself under Satan. Yeah. 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 You know what? Job kept fear what's gonna happen to his kid. Right. The Bible yeah. say he was always thinking about what's gonna happen to my kid. Let me give an offering for my kids. They might have did something wrong. That's right. Look, <laughs> he put himself on the fear. That's what he did. You, you don't just constantly think about what's going what's to happen wrong to my kids. No, God yes, said, no, sure. they're my kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> you say, oh, no, God is going to give them that good life. And even if they don't live long, they still belong to God. The point is, Job begins every day with yes, the word about yes, them kids. Yes, sir. To the point... You, it's, it's the Bible. To the point he said, neither was I in safety. That's right. You know, he said, none. All the time he was serving God back then, he had that fear. That's right. That something might happen to him. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Some did. He lost them all. He lost them all. All of that. All of that. But it's a scripture in the Bible saying that he, he constantly was worried about something that might happen to him. Uh huh. And once right. you get in your country, something that might happen, you already know then you walk in. Not only that, you 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 are not in tune with God. Because yeah. you 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 didn't you didn't say you you're not living by faith, you're living on senses. So yes. the five senses. The five. You allowed your conscience to, right. just, to okay. believe something that haven't happened yet. Mm -hmm. What happened, what's the next step? After you get to believe something that haven't happened, ooh, that might happen. Then you get the word of word. The next thing gonna happen is Satan gonna show up. That devil! He comes and give you know the door. You know. you're right? Yes, sir. Once you open that yes, door, yes, he's gonna come yes, in like a, a, a flood. He's gonna yes, give sir. you more crazy though. That's right. That's and right. then you just start, then you are physically done something because of a thought that happened. Now it even happened. That's right. You yes, went, did right. something Say, physically, you know, and, yes. you, and, you, and you did all that because of a thought that happened. That's right. Like, you know, anytime right. you tell your mind, oh, that might happen, I better go and go and right. so it won't happen. You start playing golf. That's right. You ain't living by faith, you're living by faith. Something that happened, happened, that came from somewhere, not even in your head. You weren't even thinking about that, but it my, came. My, my, my. And then it got you thinking, okay, now I got to do something about it. Remember, once Satan gets you like that, he's going to beat you. Beat you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to do something about it. You better hear real. He brushes you. That's right. He brushes you to, to destroy you. But mm -hmm. Jesus said, I came to give you life and gave it to you more than possible. I'm telling you, we have a covenant with Christ by grace through faith is our salvation pact. And, yes, and look, we, we should live never in fear. Never. never. Even if you fear, you need to start reading the scripture that, that he have no more remembrance of your sins. Read the scripture that all the love that God uh, gave us came through Christ. That love is permanent in our country. Our country is perfect because uh, he's died for the country. Die, he's died for He purged us. The, 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 he's purged the dead cousin that we may serve the living God. Mm -hmm. He's given us all the love that He could give us through Christ. Yeah. And He's given us what? In our salvation pact. Salvation Let's let us uh, go back to Colossians. You know, I told you I want to go back to Colossians chapter yes, 2, Lord. verse 14. You get mm -hmm. to say amen. Mm -hmm. The way He bruised Satan's head was at the cross. See? Go back to 2. We're going to finish up. Go back to chapter 2 of Colossians. 14 and 15. And I want you to read 15 because I want to show you that the way he's all principalities and powers is because 
He took the law out of our weight and he took the law out of the hand of the devil. What did he do with the law? The Bible say he nailed it. Look at 14. Look at 14. And I hope you write these verses down so when people ask you about the law, you need to ask them, why did Jesus nail it to the cross? He nailed it so Satan never would have no power to use word, God's word against yes. us. If Satan cannot use God's word against us, uh -huh. what's going to happen? Then we get trampled with what's going on in the servant. We have a home the power of the enemy. That's when you got power to speak these things out. And they already were. Hallelujah. That's when you start telling some promises down. Yes, Lord. I ain't got to worry about him. He defeated him. I defeated By the law, he nailed him to the throne. Thank you, Jesus. And these four principalities and yes, power. Lord. Yes, oh, when well, yes, you Lord. get that thing out your head, yeah. you can start speaking the girl with uh, the word of God with authority. With power. With power. power. That's what Jesus did. Yeah. He spoke it with power. power. He didn't teach that to spread. He spoke it with authority. Power. This yeah. man speaks with right. authority. That's right. That's right. No man speaks like this man. No man speaks like this man. But the Holy Ghost lives inside of us. And if he begins work, the God will speak to you now. He said, Open the word. Pray. That's what you can speak on your job.
of Jesus. Which was cut and tear into us. The Bible says he took it out of the way. Took it out of the way. He nailed it to the cross. He nailed it to the cross. He didn't get a lower behavior. Yes, Lord. Then we will live under such a hard reign. Yeah. 
Yes, he did. And then, y'all, they began to show the, the, the graves. Yeah. 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 So the, the temple was written to. Yeah. God says a new covenant. Yeah. Yeah. The old covenant is dead. Yeah. And the violence is done away. Yeah. He split the curtain in two. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can pray yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. over high priest. Right. He says, finish. finish. Yeah. Raise up the ceiling. Yeah. I got over the old part. Oh! 